Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Got no EDC knife video for you. And today I thought I'd show you something a little different. This is a knife we bought for my father-in-law for Father's Day. And it's a little traditional folder. It's a case. And it's item number 15759 Teardrop John Deere Cure Knight. And you can see obviously it's going to be John Deere themed. But this is my final law style. He carries a little, you know, traditional little folding pen knife. He's got several. I think he's he's probably got a little collection of them. But he also has a little collection of John Deere garden tractors. I mean, he's got the biggest one he can get before they turn into real tractors. And then he's got three or four, maybe five, I don't know other John Deere garden tractors that he'll buy them at auction, bring them home, get them running, use them for different applications. One might have a plow, one might have a uh, to pull a trailer with or something. So he uses them, then he sells them, and then he'll buy another one and fix it up. So I saw this on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It was on one of their flash sales, and um, I also had a $5 discount code, and I I showed a picture of my wife, and I said, this would be cool for your dad for Father's Day, and she's like, oh, get it. So, we got it. And I gotta admit, it's not my style, but I think this is an awesome looking knife. So, we'll take a look at it. We'll do one or two size comparisons because I don't have anything like this and go over the specs and all that so it comes in the box it's got the lab you know the sticker on one side I can open it without messing that up so it comes wrapped in brown tissue paper you got paperwork with it so I'm not going to open up look at it. it's kind of sealed I'll let him do that and take a look at it. Yeah, this thing is cool looking. And I know the camera's not doing it justice. Well, you look at this in the sunlight. It just sparkles, it shines, it's almost three-dimensional looking. This Kiranite. So right there. Right there is a John Deere logo and a bolster. And that's really it for John Deere branding. Open it up. It has a half stop. Clicks into place. It says case. It says XX case. One side. The other side says USA. These are made in Bradford, PA, which is not that far away from us. Maybe, maybe two hours. A uh, bunch of numbers. Then it says SS. That must stand for surgical steel. Because the blade is made out of true sharp surgical steel. Now, I don't know nothing about that. But this is a case knife. They're known for their quality and everything so I'm assuming it's pretty good stuff and it is sharp I'm just gonna I'll cut a piece of paper I'm not gonna cut cardboard or anything because I don't want to give them a used knife but it it slices paper right out of the box so pretty cool I don't know how long you know edge retention is on it but like I said it's a case knife they last for years and years and years you know so I can't imagine it's too bad I gotta admit though the only thing about it is it is a fingerprint magnet I'll have to make sure I pile it, wipe it down good before I pack it all back up but yeah the blade, like I said, true sharp surgical steel. It's two and a half inches long. Spear point, flat ground. 
you know, high polish finish. Like I said, it's got a half lock. So that's good. It's got pretty pretty strong retention for slip joint. Handle is um, 3.625 inches long. Got this green and yellow swirl cure night, which is some kind of acrylic. And it's it's cool looking. But even for being smooth, it's got some grip to it. It's kind of grippy, grippy material, but it is perfectly smooth. <clears throat> um, got brass pins, brass liners. You got this nickel silver bolsters. Um, yeah, this thing's awesome. The fit and finish on this thing is perfect. I mean, you can't you can't hardly feel the pins. You can feel them, but not much. The seam, there's no gaps, uneven gaps. Everything's sealed up. You know, the, between the cure night and the bolster, the back is perfectly smooth. Bottom's perfectly smooth. Top of the blade is rounded off a little bit. So that's nice. It's got a really thin blade stock, too. It's Listed at 0 0.063. Uh, check her out. Probably the thickest, thickest part is back here. I actually get 0 0.082. Down towards the tip. 0 0.043. So, I don't know, he must have took like an average, right about there, 0 0.67, or 0 0.067, 0 0.062, so yeah, I don't know how they, what point of the blade they measure that. Thing's pretty light also. Weigh it. One point four five ounces and grams forty one point one grams. So it is really light. I think it's about the perfect size to for that for a knife that doesn't have a pocket clip. I think this is like the perfect size to carry in your pocket. I'm sure it fits good in the fifth, you know, the watch pocket, the fifth pocket in jeans. And, um, yeah, this thing's awesome. Six inches overall length compared to the mini bug out. You can see how small it is. Bug out's about six and a half. When, when the end of the scales up there. So you can see it's got it's got a fairly good size handle. I can I can get all four fingers wrapped around it. This teardrop shape that, that that helps a lot. Kind of fills your hand up. But yeah, I think you'll like this. Um, I like it. It's not my style, but now I want to get a case knife. I've been looking at them. So I'll probably end up getting one sometime in the future. But, yeah, I just wanted to show it to you. Um, my father-in-law's Father Day's gift. Hope he likes it. And I guess that's it. Remember, as always, you know, you like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. You got Case Knife. Um... What do you think of them? What's your favorite style or model? Let me know in the comments. 
If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button because probably in the next video I'm doing the giveaway. My 200 subscriber giveaway. I didn't get everything I wanted to get for it, but I'm going to I'm going to give away what I got and put the money and stuff that I was going to put in this one for the next future giveaway. So so all that said, I guess until next time, bye.